Hey everybody, I'm gonna show you a little neat. Is it neat or is it just something? Eh, you know what it is? It's expensive, that's what it is. That puppy is wham. That's like 1125 bucks in this catalog here. Uh, we ordered it from Brevard Paint. I think 1100 bucks. It's worth your life. Hey everybody, today we're going to open up the SADA Air Vision 5000. <laughs> Big deal! <laughs> Okay, first things first, don't cut yourself. <laughs> okay, the safety seal is for your protection. That's just in case someone opens it up at the store and licks it. The world we live in. Let's see what we've got. It's a box. Okay, no, it's really more than a box. Actually, um, I recommend anybody who does painting get one of these. If I can go back in time or build a time machine rather than building old rotted cars, uh, I'd go back and uh, smack myself for the shit that I've done over the years. So, um, that, that wouldn't matter anyway. You really need this today. The paint activators are cyanide based. Do not inhale, breathe the crap. In the old days it was lead, but then again, we're not really that screwed up from eating paint off the windowsill. Uh -uh, anyway, let's check this out. All right, the reason why we had to get a new one, my old one's outdated, they don't make the cartridges anymore for the filtration for the fresh air. So this was on my list. Not something I wanted to spend money on, but um, it's either that or my health. And if my health is no good, I cannot do any more cars. No one gets their cars done, and then I have hospital bills. We don't need that. I'm just trying to make sure I'm safe, um, work another day, and get the cars done. So this is imperative. First off, coming out of the uh, box is really nice. See, it's in a nice little wrapping. Iron Man. Okay, let me set that aside. This guy seems pretty happy. Yeah, he's got a SADA. Looks like a 5000B with a PPS system. And they're not telling you this, but that's a quick connect 3 8 hose. You don't need to know that, but it, it does help if you're going to be doing <clears throat> a work. So it's pretty good. Sada gives you a booklet after raping you $1,000. I buy their products. They're pretty good products. What's in the name? A lot of people like other ones like Iwata and stuff like that, but for respirators, this one was a real nice one. Okay, coming out of the box next. is the air regulator belt. I'm gonna open this up. And then we'll get back to the helmet. Ooh, threw me a booklet, another booklet. And general information, different things. And it's in every different language possible, so it's not just English. There's the belt. It's where you put the strap on. Okay, what else do we got in here? Wet and dry cleaner. So, this will be for cleaning the lens of the helmet. So this is when you want to polish your helmet, this is what you use. 
warranty instructions, and uh, some other paperwork. This is the air regulator. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this. This is tiny compared to the one I've been using. Let me get that puppy out of there. Okay. That's my air regulator. Pretty slick willy. You connect into that and connect into that. Those are quick fitting hoses. And did you notice the hose diameter? It's not a regular uh, airline hose. These are 3 8 That's your adjustment. Real nice. And that'll clip you right in there. So, anybody who's into 50 shades of whatever, you know, that's, that's where you put it. Okay, so, and we got these little color thingies. More paperwork. All right, with that set, very nice little unit. I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna open up the helmet now. Smells nice and clean. New. Oh, yeah. Not for long. Not after the first paint job. This thing's going to start looking raggedy really quick. But I'd rather this be raggedy than my lungs. Okay. This has the visors that I've been using. These are clear visors. Now what they do is they go over the outside of this. This has got a protective. Let me pull the protective thing off. I'm going to show you. I'm going to stand this camera back. Okay. Kind of like something out of Alien, eh? All right. In here, this is where you would kick your regulator into your regulator, excuse me, on your belt. And that right there feeds inside that hose. It's going to feed inside here and push fresh air on you. It's really nice when you're painting, guys. Um, when the booth's over 105 degrees in here and it's on the average on a nice warm day, uh, maybe even higher than that, and I'm painting, I'm not melting and no sweat's running out of my gloves onto the paint job or anything because this keeps me cool here. When I'm cool all the way down through here, it actually helps. The paint suits we use, I'll show a video on that one, but the paint suits we use are breathable. When I worked at the Space Center, we had Tyvek. Problem with Tyvek is it works, but it's an insulator. So you're gonna sweat inside it. it you're not gonna breathe through it. This stuff is really nice, you breathe through it. So I'll show a video on that, but this is a very nice setup. Um, again, I can't recommend enough getting one of these to paint, especially when you're using cyanide-based materials like we are using here in the shop, and it's a big deal. Um, the ones you see that we have this, the regular ones, we use those too, but I will not use those when I'm painting actual base coat clear. The reason why is because it gets into your eyesight and it also will get you, it'll, um, it'll hurt your eyes over time. If you're not doing it every day, if you just paint one car every, like, every year or two years, three years, a regular respirator that you get from 3M is really good. I mean, um, so they're, they're fine, but we do a lot of processing here, so this becomes invaluable to me. If I can help anybody with this, I'll leave a link in the description below on getting one of these fresh air helmets. I highly recommend it. It's great. Uh, I recommend also uh, setting up a separate line. I'll have to do a video on that where I'll show you our paint system in here. You want to run a separate line away from your regular airline. Um, and the reason being is because moisture, particulates, and all kinds of stuff gets in this, and you want the cleanest air possible, especially when your compressor's doing that. It can throw some nasty stuff in there, especially monoxide, and you don't want that. Everybody, thank you for your time and checking this thing out. This is the SADA Fresh Air Respiratory System. So you don't breathe a darn thing, and you can see everything what you're doing through this little doohickey right here, even though it's a little covered up with this shipping thing. That's pretty cool. Thank you for uh, taking the time to check this little quick video out. I hope this helps. Take care.